Hello friends, welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. This is Mindless Max, welcoming you to a new series here in Skyline Crypts. Now let's see, I'm going to do options because we are using a new tile set. MSX Auto Plus, now included with the game itself when you download or update it. And it uses the same base as the previous one I was using. However, this one is being updated, now included with the game. And even better, doesn't crash the game with its current build, which my older pack does. Now, so here we are. A preset character, Fiona Charming in Skyline Crypts. I'll go over her stats really quickly. So we're in there. This is where it would crash on me before, on tile sets. Put in her name. Now, of course, we are using multiple pools. Only one available on Skyline Crypts. We are using the mist scenario. Chain smoker is our profession. So we start with a nicotine withdrawal as well as lighter and pack of cigarettes. Now, her strength, dexterity, and perception are all only six. She is weaker, less agile, and not as perceptive as most people, but she's extremely intelligent. The maximum for a starting character you can actually have, really which means she's basically a, a borderline genius. Um, as for her traits, she has fast learner, fast reader, lactose intolerance, so she will have trouble with anything in dairy. She has no facial hair, medium length brown hair, and light skin tone. As for her skills, she only has four points in computers. She's rather skilled in it, but everything else she's going to have to start from scratch. And that's the nitty gritty. As for the roleplay aspect, well, Fiona Charming is somebody who determined early on in her life that she wanted to go into computers for her career. She enjoyed working with them, learning to program them, taking them apart, putting them together again, and figuring out how they worked and how to improve them. When she graduated, she moved into a large corporation as a technical type of job, sort of like IT, but even more expansive. And what she found, despite being exceedingly happy with her new position at first, was that the biggest issue her computers had were its users. Fixing error upon error done by people who didn't know what they were doing made her bitter she became short with people sarcastic at times and as her stress mounted from dealing with these same frustrating events day in and day out week after week she took up smoking as a way to alleviate some of the stress or at least distance herself from her fellow employees and as her stress mounted and her position in the company grew, her smoking became more and more iconic until she was rarely, rarely seen without one in her mouth, hand, or in her pocket ready to go. Now, as the days of the cataclysm itself drew close, Riots were breaking out all over the world, including the city that Fiona worked in. The military had been called in, struggling to maintain order with intimidation and, at times, outright violence. And, well, Fiona stepped out to enjoy one of her frequent smoke breaks. The order came out. The military was withdrawing. Everyone in the city was to evacuate. An emergency lockdown button was pushed, and the door that Fiona had just exited 
bolted shut behind her. Inside, her fellow employees went to the underground parking and fled to the highways and beyond with luck. More likely, they became trapped in a gridlock at the mercy of the riots. Unable to reach her own vehicle, Fiona was forced to flee through the city on foot, doing her best to avoid the violence raging around her. And there, she bore witness to some unusual sights. The rioters were taking down people and attacking them not just with their hands, but chewing on them, taking bites out of them, and more disturbingly, those who fell, in many cases obviously killed, would get up again and join the mob. This was no mere civil disobedience. This was like some kind of cheap horror film. These were zombies, the dead rising to feed on the living. And so, moving from shadow to shadow, from building to building, Fiona made it through the first hours of the cataclysm until light began to fade and she found herself at the gates of a cemetery. Here, it was quiet, peaceful, there had been no living to attract the dead. And so she bunked down there, desperately trying to get a few hours of sleep, before a distant noise awoke her at approximately 3 a.m. And this is where her story begins in earnest. For Fiona is going to try to survive the cataclysm as a pacifist as long as she can, for she's not cut out for fighting, not with her physique. She can use traps and her cleverness to dispose of her enemies, but she cannot directly engage in violence, if at all possible. And so, we begin. Here we find Fiona, inside the cemetery, recently awakened from her slumber. What is this? Sunglasses, reading glasses. you for long. What if we wear the... Can we wear them both? We can. Okay. Hello. Bridget Lacroix, Bone Seer. startled to find someone else here in the building who had been quiet up until now. Fiona hesitates to say hello. They respond, you there. Quiet down. Can you hear it? The song. Okay. Getting to think that these events have kind of broken your mind, but what song? Listen carefully. The bones, they hum. Can you hear it? The song they weave, the stories they hold. Yeah, sure. I, I think I'll just be on my way. Well, uh, at least she wasn't hostile, but she's certainly strange. A candlestick. Okay, we well, can wield it. Uh, the west, she hears lump. A jean jacket that fits her. 
to put it on. It's a little bit of protection. More importantly, gives her some storage, some pockets. Moving away from the womp, she considers what she saw on her way here. She thinks she's at the edge of the city. Maybe she can sneak away. Away from the violence. Climbing over the low wall that surrounds the cemetery. She heads for the street, doing her best to be quiet. She hasn't heard anything. Have their hordes moved on? A wall, a window, an open window. She peeks inside, sees nothing. Carefully, she slides in, closing the window behind her. Clothing that doesn't fit her, pillow. Doesn't have a curtain. Can't be closed. She enters the remainder of the house. Fantasy novel. No. She doesn't need fantasy in her life right now. Guns and ammo. Nothing else. We could teach her something. Bubble wrap. use that because it will make noise if stepped on. Blankets. Okay. She takes one of the blankets, folds it over, ties the ends together. She doesn't need the candlestick. this. The first scarf. She's already got a scarf on, I believe. Yes, a knit scarf. Her hands are cold. That's her legs and her head. Nothing here seems to fit properly, save the scarf and the union suit. Although, the union suit would keep her legs warm. Close to skin. Can we wear it? It's not much encumbrance. Interferes with her bra and panties, but... Also makes her torso and arms slightly too warm. But it's already fall. Food. The food she will take. A knife. Never know when that might come in handy. Fire extinguisher? No. Pot. Something to cook with. Yes. jug of milk, butter, fruit wine, may be nice, but she'll carry the milk with her, candle, hammer, lighter, she already has one, but another wouldn't hurt, fire screwdriver, exact knife. perhaps she should make another sling, Throw the milk into that bag. Except the duct tape. And some rags. What's in here? 
honey, sugar, tea. Plastic sheet. A pair of scissors. Camisole. At least it fits her. Motorcycle helmet. There. So, with that on, she can't see. Not in the dark. instead. Downstairs, a flare, some thread, and a metal file set. Interesting. The basement seems quiet. This house. a safe haven for her at the moment. Okay. What have we got here? A laundry room. More soap. Shorts that fit her. Here, furnace. And a water heater that still has some clean water in it. For that, she's grateful. Does she dare stay here in this house? She knows at least there are no dead inside. And it has a bed she could use. somewhere. Climbs out the back of the building. Moving over to the adjacent home. 
another open window. Hello. Evening gown. Better than nothing. This door is locked, however. seems to be open. Carefully shuts it behind her. That door is locked. This must be a duplex, perhaps? A cell phone fully charged. Soda. Another cell phone. It's lighter, but nearly empty. T-shirt that does not fit. But a pair of mittens that do. Carefully she puts those on. It'll keep her hands warm at least. So, perhaps touch too warm. Matchbook. Towel. Some antiseptic. That could certainly come in handy if this is some kind of infectious disease. We already have one. Carving knife. Sounds handy. Warm rags. More food. Certainly wouldn't hurt to come back here. U.S. Weekly. She throws most everything onto the shelf. Sees if there's any way into the other side of the duplex. door is open. That data. Many things that fit her. She can pick that up. Ah, a garage. This vehicle. The battery is dead. But it has fuel. An engine that the faulty may work. It wheels. Another hammer, I suppose. A multi tool. Yeah, that would be useful. Is there anything inside the vehicle? No. This side is a broom. Mostly in Bon Appetit. Some of the food she's hastily grabbing, she can't really eat, but for now, it's better to have it than to not.
smoothless leather trench coat. It's her. Pair of pants. No. It's cold are her feet. We'll take the pants with us. See what else we can grab from the other side. Chest set. Get a soup. Flashlight. Batches. Battery, strings, cardboard box, duct tape. You can take the fire extinguisher. Okay. Take, yes, we can take the ammonia. Need the two pots. The wheat cereal. Alright. Cannot close that one. Can we open this one? Okay. That's the only window unable to be closed. The curtains. Be best to open it. Close the window from inside. Okay. There. Feeling hungry. Alright, we should grab this stuff that she cannot have. The yogurts, both milks, cheese, puddings, and butter. Got the cheese spread. Okay. Oh, seal, seal. Protein shake she can have. 
it's only going to last two days. Okay. At least her thirst is slaked. Crashed escape pod. Hmm. Crater. Railroad. Orchard. Number of windows in the kitchen we have yet to close. Try to do so. There's nothing that can be closed nearby. Shoot. There we go. the dead to follow her back to the house, she decides she should take a wider berth away from present safety she's discovered. Carefully approaches the orchard. after her. She decides she'll head away, far away, and circle back. What's this? Pick the chestnut tree, yes. And some tinder in the underbrush. Thank you. season. Picking the beech nuts and the acorns. Huckleberry bushes out of season. Pick the hickory tree. Does that kill him? No. no. If you dig the roots, it does. Increased our survival to one. Dead pine tree. This is hazel nuts. At least they should last. Burns. Pick the peanut bush, yes. 
in here. Lilac. I believe we have lost whatever was pursuing us. Hmm. And so, Fiona begins to head back to the house. Back towards whatever form of safety she had found. Ooh, more peanuts. Nothing can be harvested from this plant. It's the current season. Everything we can to block our scent. Activate our flashlight. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. We don't need these machines. To beat our flashlight once more. Anything particularly useful? No, not at the moment. Some rubber hoses. Build a chair down here, what will we need? Fabrication of two. More planks need nails, so well, that's not hard to come by. Okay, so just building materials can sit here, I suppose. Uh, all of this. That's technically food. Fast forward through the rest of the sorting. Back in a moment. All right. I'm going to. And do one of our makeshift slings. We have a pillow and a blanket. Should also leave our laundry basket. First, we have to unload its items. As useful as the laundry basket is, it is rather bulky. what to do next. It's quarter to 6 a.m. Less than three hours into Fiona's story.
Now, until there is daylight, we should do what we can. We can see if there's anything up here. What's more sneaking? <laughs> Didn't even hear this child. Um. So, as she's crawling through the grass, a small child lunges at her from the dark, clawing her. She starts bleeding from her chest. Part of the blanket she's using to hold things is ripped. Lurches to her feet. And starts to move. Doing her best to lead the child away. She's losing blood. She's been grabbed by another one. Bit. Scratched in the leg. Bit on the arm. The child is caught up. She needs to lure them away. small bursts, listening, catching her breath, I'll circle back a long way, hopefully keeping them from being able to find her. Just now. What's this? Open the closed spaceship hatch. Landfall survival kit. Mailed it, yes. Close the door. Mound of dirt. Interesting. What is in this kit? Rations, clean water, a manual. Interested by beginners. Found this house. An open window into the kitchen. More scissors, another battery, more duct tape, and another candle. A large fire extinguisher. Oh, she can't carry it as well as this kit's. Basement. Casserole dish. Here. Refrigerator. Gallon jug of milk. She doesn't need that. Mayonnaise. I don't think she needs that either. 
we're getting put in, certainly not. Oh, she can take the mayonnaise, okay. Scrub brush could come in handy. Rags. Detergent, perhaps. It's here. Solder. The television? Not as useful at the moment. Clothing that fits her. Uh, leg warmers, wool socks, an undershirt. The pillowcase. No. Guns. Can she close this window? Yeah. Camera. Bandana. Flashlight. There's no room for any of these things. Bathroom scale, no. Aspen. Close that curtain. She cracks the front door open. Listening carefully, nothing seems to appear. Okay, she has sealed this place. Seems quiet in here. One hundred clean water. Don't have a suitable container. Regrettable. What's this? Splinter wood. It's 6 a.m. now. It will be light soon. She has to get back. Fiona has removed everything from the upper floor and brought it down, sorting it out into things that may be useful, things that may just be reduced into hopefully more useful parts. Clothing, whether they fit or not, drugs, food, items for cooking, things like that. Now, dawn has come.
crouching down so she doesn't be seen. She comes up here to investigate her books. Alright. Train our survival to two. The Landfall Survival Manual. Our social tailoring, marksmanship, and food handling, each up to one. All of these would be good. But we'll start with the food handling. As that may be the most urgent need. Okay. Seeing as she's not planning on fighting anything, we'll skip marksmanship for now. Survival, however. Shuffling, stop reading, yes. We are crouched. Have they scented us? Or do they just happen to wander close? Sound seems to have stopped, wandered off somewhere. There it was. It's here by the window. The west, you hear glass breaking. It's in here with us. We have no choice now. We must escape. It smashed the chair. It's coming for us. Trying to lead it this way. Run. Outside. There's that zombie child again. It's badly injured. Possibly from the bushes. Just slow down. Keep our wits about us. zombie also injured. This zombie is quite fast. Reindeer. They won't be hostile. Perhaps. Yes, okay. The zombie has gone after them. Have we lost it? There it is. It's barely alive, but it is alive. It was after us again. He's 
grab this. Get her on the Break the way. Okay. faster over this terrain than us. Raspberries, it'll do. Stanley down. Blackberries, also usable. Roses. to free ourselves of the tough zombie. It dropped some shelled peanuts. Eat them. They're in mild pain. Income. 
those hips. Let's see if we can circle back home again. We'll need to see about boarding up a broken window. Zombie right there. I regret this. No, it's still chasing us. How is our clothing doing? Our dress shirt is ripped. Union suit is ripped. Jean jacket ripped. Makes it. Shit sling ripped. it among the crater rebel. Is this hurting it at all? I don't think so. No, it just takes you off balance, okay. What's that? A withered plant, okay. Well, it's there in the rubble. We can lose it. Yes. spotted by the zombies. Doesn't seem to know we are here. Okay. Close the window. Close the door. Ouch. What do we need to clean the broken window? Thanks. More nails, okay. Hang on. I think we can deconstruct this chair. What are we missing? One more nail. to deconstruct right now. Okay. There's what we want. Board up window. Okay. behind this couch and read. 
What were we reading? Survival, I do believe. Need some nicotine. Yes, yes we do. Okay. Now is not the time to be smoking. Lightning weary. Be active for a while. Okay. This has no recipes for us, so it is now useless. Okay. raise our tailoring because we are already damaging our clothing. Okay. Very hungry, very thirsty. We'll be fine. So use what daylight we have. Okay. Close this door. Close that door. Activate the bubble. No, actually, not. activate the bubble rat onto the stairs. But we can hear it. We're going to need to sleep soon. But first, first we should eat. Protein shake. Yes. We have things we can drop here. Rose hips. books that are no good for any... Well, actually, the one is just good for fun if we want it. Recipe books can... go onto the shelf, I suppose. Six days. Mushroom is only good for two. Rose hips for two. We are still thirsty. Cranberry juice. There. We're not yet tired. It's only been 12 hours. No, don't step under the bubble wrap. Close the door. Anything that can cut off our scent. See if we can get some rest. Heal. Start to try to fall asleep. It's a little hard to get to sleep on this concrete floor, yes. Stop trying to get to sleep then. Yep. I'll just leave it there for now. We are still crouching. both hands, okay. Then shift it. See if we can't get... Yes. Does it see us? Thankfully, no. What do we have up there? Wreckage. An atomic car. It has wheels. Sleep. Okay, um... Can we activate the mattress? I think so. Maybe. Holy item. 
error has occurred. Do not find item mattress to remove it. comfortable place to sleep. Okay, so we have successfully set up the mattress. And yet, it's right here. So what we should do is, um... There we go. Just burn it because that was obviously an error. Okay, so we have managed to get some sleep. It is now one quarter past one in the morning. Um, we could eat the mayonnaise. We could also see if there's anything we could cook. Scrambled eggs should use up these eggs. Or we could boil the eggs. And they last longer. up and destroyed the clean water, so we boiled off the water without managing to boil the eggs. Congratulations, Fiona. That's a new one. Mayonnaise, good for six days. Boiled eggs, good for one week. Okay, now let's eat the mayonnaise. We are still thirsty, but we have that um, cranberry juice here. There we go. That should be good. Move the bed frame, okay. Oh, why'd you let go of it? Oops. again here in Skyline Crips with Fiona Charming thus far successfully still a pacifist despite that tough zombie's best efforts.